Is your Tower Tech modular cooling tower performing as well as it should? Is it trying to tell you something? Is it feeling bloated with the weight of fouled film media? Does it drip water? How long has it been since maintenance was performed? When was the last time its film media and water collection system were inspected or cleaned? Cooling towers are pieces of mechanical equipment and, much like your automobile, require routine maintenance to keep them operating at their tip-top efficiency. You wouldn't let the oil in your car go for thousands of miles beyond its recommended life expectancy or neglect to change the oil and air filter, which can cause damage or reduce performance. So why not treat your cooling tower the same way you would treat your car? Your Tower Tech cooling tower was designed to be the most efficient, lowest maintenance cooling tower available. Our exclusive patented technology makes this possible, but they also make our towers a bit different than conventional cooling towers. Taking a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the internal features and operational benefits of your Tower Tech modular cooling tower is the first step to realizing significantly lower operating costs and a longer service life than any other cooling tower on the market. Our factory certified service team can assist you with the inspection of your tower. We can recommend a Tower Tech factory authorized service provider in your area. Our expert service team is even willing to go to your plant and perform maintenance and other service work for you. And if you prefer to service your own tower or have a local contractor do it, Tower Tech University offers an intensive, hands on service training curriculum that teaches you or your contractor everything that's needed to keep your tower operating at peak efficiency and performance. Our customer service hotline gives customers a personal link to highly experienced service representatives who can help you create a PM plan for inspections and service, plus provide immediate answers to any technical question, and help you obtain spare and replacement parts as needed. You know that preventive maintenance reduces operating costs and unscheduled downtime. Your Tower Tech Modular Cooling Tower is the industry standard for ease of installation, performance, efficiency, and maintenance. And it's also backed by the best warranty in the business. Understanding the technological features of your tower is key to reducing and simplifying maintenance. Your Tower Tech Modular Cooling Tower has no doors or hatches to enter, no stairs to climb, no handrails to grab, no slippery wet deck, no sediment-type basins to muck out, no nozzles that need constant unplugging, no speed reducers to service, and no drive shafts, belts, or pulleys. Let's get to know your modular cooling tower by first looking at the components that require little or no inspection or cleaning. Your modular cooling tower has direct drive, totally enclosed air over motors with L10 sealed bearings that have a service life of 100,000 hours. The motors are installed in the cool, dry, entering airstream where the canopy of the tower protects them from the harmful effects of the natural elements. Your tower also contains our patented rotary spray nozzle, which has a spinning rotor that dislodges any debris normally found in a cooling tower. This revolutionary feature virtually eliminates nozzle maintenance and ensures great tower performance at all times. The tower shell surface is like any other piece of equipment. A periodic power wash of the outer shell keeps it clean aesthetically and makes it easier to inspect the exterior of the tower. Since it's a watertight vessel with sealant compounds in the wall seams, the need for some sealant repair may arise over time. A visual inspection of the tower's exterior walls should alert you to water leaks. The drift eliminators are your door to the tower internals. Remove the DEs to access the rotary spray nozzles, hot water distribution system, fill media, the interior tower walls, and the patented water collection system. To access the tower internals, remove the two 5 16th hex head screws from the DE hold down plates, slide the DEs out of the DE support beams, and store the DEs on the ground or on an elevated pallet until it's time to install them again. Clean, tightly packed DEs reduce water and chemical waste. DE should be inspected once a year and cleaned every year or two per your inspection findings. The DE's PVC material is usually exposed to direct sunlight, so they tend to become brittle over time. When this occurs, replace the DE's. DE should last 10 to 12 years with good preventive maintenance.
Your film media is where the tower's heat transfer takes place. Made of corrugated PVC sheets with micro nodes that are designed to turbulate falling water, the individual PVC sheets are glued or mechanically attached together to form logs. The greater a fill's clean surface area, the more effective the heat transfer. If the film media channels are plugged with dirt, scale, or other matter, tower performance and efficiency will suffer and operating costs will rise. You have already removed the DEs. Before stepping into the tower, place a few small pieces of plywood on top of the fill to help distribute your weight and avoid damaging the fill media. Remove and inspect a sample area of fill media all the way down to the top of the water collection system. A new dry log of fill measuring 1 foot by 1 foot by 6 feet typically weighs about 12 pounds. Scale, dirt, and other debris can add considerable weight to the logs, so be careful when removing them. After your initial fill inspection, an annual inspection will help you determine how often the fill needs cleaning and how long the fill will last. With very good water treatment and by adhering to a good PM schedule, your fill media should last about 10 to 12 years. Perform a physical inspection of your tower's rotary spray nozzles once every six months to make sure they're operating correctly. The nozzles are located in the top area of the cooling tower and are accessed by removing the DEs. Visually inspect each nozzle to make sure it spins freely. Each nozzle should deliver a square spray pattern measuring approximately 6 feet by 6 feet. This hydraulically balanced square pattern is essential to maintaining a good balance of water and air within your tower. The rotary spray nozzle has an indefinite life expectancy when operated between 100 and 300 GPM. When you inspect them, take time to also inspect the tower's hot water distribution system, which is made up of Schedule 40 PVC piping. The pipe connection to the tower's exterior walls may need resealing after several years. The tower's fan guard screens are removed and reinstalled easily. A fan guard screen swings down and out of the way to give easy access to the motor, the fan, and the bottom of the water collection system. The fan guard screen, made of sturdy PVC support members and PVC-coated wire mesh, is a rugged safety feature of the tower, but a monthly inspection ensures its integrity. Proper clearance between the tip of each fan blade and the fan shroud is important to system safety and keeps air flowing freely into your tower. Check to make sure the one quarter to one half inch fan tip clearance is maintained. Also check to make sure the fan blades are not chipped or broken. Fan blade pitch is preset in the factory and should never require adjustment. There are two ways to control a tower tech modular cooling tower to obtain the industry's best fan energy efficiency and savings and ensure peak tower performance at off-design conditions. In the fan staging method, a temperature probe senses the tower's exiting cold water and feeds its temperature to a programmable logic controller in the tower's motor control panel. A cold water set point programmed into the PLC enables the PLC to turn tower fans on and off as needed to maintain the cold water temperature set point. Fans are always staged in pairs. Fans number one and number two are located nearest the sump end of the tower module and are always the first fans to be turned on and the last fans to be turned off. The pair of fans farthest from the sump end of the tower module are the last to be turned on and the first to be turned off. The second method of fan operation is to tie all motors with a single tower module into one variable frequency drive. In this method, the speed of all fans ramp up and down simultaneously. A temperature probe senses the tower's exiting cold water and sends a signal to the panel-mounted PLC, which controls the VFD. If multiple tower modules are interconnected, each tower module is controlled by its own VFD. One of the VFDs serves as the master, and the other VFDs are slave to the master. Bumping the motors monthly in hand mode is recommended, especially in winter months when the fans are more likely to sit idle. An annual check of the amperage and voltage draws will help determine that wiring and fan pitch are still true. If you're located in a cold climate, you'll have a basin heater on each of your towers. Check your basin heater system before each cold season to ensure they're clean and correctly operating. Basin heater elements are located in the corners of the tower module. The controller is also part of the system. 
and needs to be inspected to make sure the low water cutoff is still functioning correctly. Electrical power is locked out and tagged out for safety before performing maintenance or checks. The basin heaters are inspected in place by removing the inspection ports located directly above them. Inspect the heater element and the heater sensor probe. Removal of heater elements requires that the electrical wiring be removed from the heads of the heater element. A licensed electrician should always perform all electrical work and testing. The mechanical float valve is located inside the sump. The recommended maximum operating pressure for the float valve is 25 PSI. The valve needs to be checked quarterly and adjusted as needed to maintain a 7-inch to 9-inch water operating level in the tower module's flow-through basin. A lower water level can cause air entrainment and lead to pump cavitation. A higher water level can cause water to overflow the tower module, wasting water and chemicals. The sump screen is also located inside the sump box. It should be checked monthly and emptied as needed. The screen has a handle for ease of removal. Our patented water collection system makes our fully enclosed flow-through basin possible. The water collection system, which is designed to act as an air-water separator, is comprised of three sections. The primary drainage channels, the secondary drainage channels, and the dampers. The primary drainage channels overlap one another to catch all of the cold water falling from the fill media. The secondary drainage channels are designed to catch and contain any water droplets not contained by the primary drainage channels. Barometric dampers open automatically when fans are on and close automatically when fans are off. The dampers help keep foreign matter from entering the tower module. The dampers must open freely so the tower's entering airflow is able to move upward into the fill media without obstruction. Buildup of scale or dirt in the secondary drainage channels can cause water drips below the tower. Without proper periodic cleaning of the water collection system, the tower will use more water, chemicals, and require more maintenance. We recommend the water collection system be inspected after the first six months of initial operation, and then annually after that. Not much special training is required to clean your water collection system, but a good basic understanding is needed before you or your contractor attempt to clean the system the first time. Our patented high-velocity flow-through basin keeps water moving through the tower module at 5 to 7 feet per second. There are no stagnant areas where solids can settle in the basin. When performing an annual tower inspection, drain the water, remove the inspection port covers, and use a flashlight to look into the perimeter basin channels. You'll be able to see if there's any sediment that needs to be removed. The perimeter basin can be cleaned out with a high-pressure water hose and a wet-dry vacuum. During cleaning, debris dislodged from the fill media will fall into the perimeter basin. You'll have to remove that material so it doesn't contaminate pumps and heat exchangers later. You own the best-built, best-backed, most capable cooling tower available, with technological advantages designed to save lots of money. TowerTech wants you to be our customer for life. And we're committed to your success by providing all of the technical resources you need to be completely satisfied. We'll help inspect and or maintain your tower or train you to do so properly. Whenever you have questions or comments or need service assistance, please email us at service at towertechinc.com or look us up online at www.towertechinc.com or call our customer service hotline at 405-979-2123. Let us help you keep your TowerTech Modular Cooling Tower operating at peak efficiency and performance levels.